about the Willoughby Symphony Orchestra. Um, so I'd just like to know how that whole um, connection started with you. No, with the Willoughby Symphony, I just wrote again to many symphonies. And okay. when I sit, when I sit down and do my work, uh, I'm more of a researcher. I I have a you know Excel sheet and I'm jotting down people I'm writing and their responses. And sometimes I'm also videotaping it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just to, you know, who knows? But um, so the response I got from Willoughby Symphony, actually from the conductor, from David Gerson, the response that David sent me back was so incredible again that I'm like, oh, my goodness, I have to do whatever David wants. Yeah. And it started from, uh, because like I said a bit earlier, that uh, you need to have a lot of money to be able to do the classical work. Uh, so we started from a youth orchestra, so there won't be any money that we won't have to spend so much money because youth orchestras are just there for practicing and, you know. So that's where it started. But but just as the songs came in and as the music developed and as the sheets started becoming interesting, uh, David says to me that maybe we should look into a bigger orchestra and I, and I sometimes conduct the Willoughby Symphony, which is a really, really good community orchestra, I could go talk to them and, and, you know, and he did, and he brought the orchestra on board like that. So that's what he brought on board. And I was very excited because they're really a bunch of really good people, really interesting people. Yeah, they're one of the best in Australia when it comes to community um, orchestras. Yeah, yeah. And I, and I, when I was there working with them, I saw how good they were and how to the point, man, so, so rehearsed really a really a good working band, you know, and their manager, Annette Brown, you know, wonderful human being, just an incredible human being. So so all those things have to go into the recording for the recording to sound good. If you have disharmony in the management and, and with people, then it's gonna show up in the recordings and that's what makes them sound either good or bad is the vibe that they're sending out as well, you know? Yeah. It gets recorded. Yeah, it's all about um, like how everything sort of gels together because you can have individuals like amazing sounding parts, but if it doesn't come together, it doesn't sound as good as what it could have been if everything. Like, yeah, well, you know what the thing is. What I've started to notice is all that, all those instruments and all those sounds, including the guitars and your voice, everything creates a harmonic sound, one like a bubble, like a balloon with with a little hole on the top, so that the hole at the top is what you're hearing. And you're not really listening to individual instruments, so you're just listening to the whole as a whole. And then that harmonic, if it swells well enough, <laughs> 